Okay, so here's installation of the draw tie hitch for the Subaru Ascent 2019. I bought it from eTrailer.com. This was a very, very easy installation. The instructions stated that it should take 20 or take 60 minutes, but it took me more like a 30 minutes. Um, underneath the bumper, the rear bumper, there are six of these fat plastic, um, I don't know what you call them, pins. And on the wheel well, there are two small, smaller size. The two smaller size, uh, in my case, broke when I tried to remove them because they were just too dainty. You know, one thing to note when you are removing the rear bumper is it is very dusty and dirty inside the bumper. You don't see all this dust, this fine dust, until you um, pry open these little pins and they just come raining down. So to my surprise, the whole entire bumper is just attached by little tiny um, uh, pins or clamps or whatnot, plastic clamps. So there's really no bolts that's holding other than the two from the um, the clamshell. Um, so here I am removing the uh, bumper sensor. These are the four dots that are behind the bumper that's attached to the bumper. This part this part probably took the longest because of how the plastic thing is attached to the to the metal bar. And here is the foam bumper. In case someone hits you, they hit the foam first before they hit the actual metal steel bumper. And the metal steel bumper is on each side is held held with four bolt no three bolts and one nut. Um, this here is a sensor for the what is it RAB R A B. So when you back up, if it, I guess if you uh, run into an object, that thing's supposed to sensor or sense it and hit the brakes for you. But yeah, again, these two wire attachment were or harness were the most troublesome to remove because of, of how it was sitting in there. So. I originally took a 17 millimeter ratchet and that just took a little more time so I just decided to use the impact driver, hook that up to an attachment and into the impact driver and it makes very quick work of removing the bolts and the nut. So the bumper itself, I was really surprised too. I think it's probably 25 pounds. So it's, it's a pretty piece of heavy metal. Now that the bumper is exposed, um, I get to dry fit the uh, new hitch. So when you install the hitch, make sure you align the hitch horizontally so that um, it's even in the, the bumper. That way, it's, as you can see right now, it's moving to, all the way to the right. But eventually, I will center it. And that's one thing you want to look out for. This draw tie comes with a little platform there to attach a, um, a uh, wiring harness. I don't plan on towing anything with this thing other than my bikes. So I did not purchase the wiring harness or use the uh, wiring harness attachment. Um, I believe the instruction said that you need to have 42 foot-pound. I don't have a torque wrench, so I just um, torque this manually. For me, uh, if it's tight enough, and then I'm assuming it's secure enough. That little section here, you have to be careful with because it is a knuckle uh, buster. I've uh, cracked my knuckle twice hitting that electronic section there in the middle so be careful with that part on both sides so now once the hitch is assembled everything just goes back to normal 
Um, I'm attaching the harness back to the RAB and the the kit comes with two plastic tie downs. I didn't use those. I'm assuming it's for these two uh, sensor because man, if you don't get them off perfect the first time, it 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 breaks. So be careful when you're removing those um, harness. So that's how it looks like in its glory without the bumper. And putting the bumper back on is very easy. You just pop everything back in again. The only two screws are right there on the left and right hand side. They are attached to the clamshell trunk. Um, like a piece of and here's the other harness for those three, four sensor things on the bumper. How would my hair and you just snap them on again and it goes in very easily. Here's the screw. Just secure that on. It's a Phillips screw. And as you're popping on the, the bumper, um, you can just massage it or give it a little persuasion to uh, snap back in place. But again, when you're putting it back on, just be careful because it's, it's still dusty. So because I lost the, because I broke the dainty pins, I won't be installing it in this video. I will just be using the last or the, the big six pins that go underneath the bumper. And here's the little plastic covering for the the side panel of the uh, hatch door or clamshell door. This section is also dusty. I didn't know how much dust that gets trapped in there. So I just take my time to clean it off. The only time you'll we'll, we'll see me cleaning it. So that just snaps on, no screws. Again, everything here is pretty much snapped on. Those two white things are the pins, and it goes into little black holes there, and they just snap on into it. Those are the two last pins for the cover, the, the hitch cover. Um, I plan on modifying my hitch cover, cutting a hole, so that the, the trail hitch or the the hitch is always exposed. I don't like how it looks now without the cover. I think it looks uh, unfinished. So I will work on a cover for that one. But here's a fit for my four bicycle rack or four bike rack. It fits fine. It's, uh, it sits really high, which is uh, kind of good and bad. It's good when I have to go into steep driveways, but it's bad because the uh, because so high the, the it's gonna be a pain in the butt to uh, load the bikes up and take them off. Okay, here it is with the hatch coming down, making sure there's clearance. There is clearance. There won't be clearance once the bikes are on. But without the bikes, there's clearance for the thing to close. So I would say out of uh, a scale from 1 to 10, I would say this is probably a 2 in terms of how hard it was to put on. My GMC Terrain was a lot harder than this one. Even though I thought this would be a lot harder because you have to remove the bumper. But the bumper was held with plastic pins and, and snap-on pins. So yeah, so my plan um, is to reuse the OEM cover, the hitch cover, but cutting a rectangle box around it so that the trail hitch is always exposed, 
that way I don't have to go underneath the truck, remove the pins with a flathead screwdriver to um, access the, uh, the trailer hitch. So I hope this video was very helpful to you and how to install a hitch on a 2019 Subaru Ascent. I'm pretty sure it's the same as the 2020 and 2021. Um, if you like the video, please hit the subscribe button and see you then. Bye. Thank you.